Green asked how to get an inner quilt shape when she was multi-layering them. She had a three, three different areas. She wanted either a design and then a quilting shape and then another quilting shape. So the way to get the inner one would be that I believe she used this heart or something like that as the border. Let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go, and it's centered, and I actually want these to be at the top so I can see the cat. So this is a little odd shape of a cat, and now if you want this red space between the outside edge and inside quilted, what you could do is use this hole and precise create. So you want to create a hole in your shape and you want it to be in the shape of your cat. In her case, it's a bird. So I would start to put down points. And remember, if you use shift, you should get a corner. And then I want these to be rounded. And I'm actually just gonna go around the nose because this isn't Watching me put these down is not. I'm going to have to do one over here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sorry. Have to go back in to insert that one. And I'm going to have to do some inserts here. So let's do an insert point here. Bring this out, out, and an insert point here, one there, and insert there. Oop, oop, one more. There, that'll do it. And finish insert points, and then I want to move them. So this guy is going to be there. It's giving me a satin edge on this hole, which we can change later. Push that up and pull this out. We got two there. So basically now I should have a cat shaped hole and you can check it out by just you know, checking this and there you see we have the cat shaped hole so now I have a shape uh, let's put it back in the center mm -hmm. that is going to go around the inner shape again Kareen you have a bird we have a cat so then you can play with your pattern fill and you can also play with your outline so you go into properties and maybe you don't want a satin line maybe you want a double stitch and maybe for the fill this is where you want a motif fill you can choose one of the fills that are already exist you could choose an echo and you have an echo fill if you didn't like that, we could go back to properties, into fill. You can choose any of contour, any of the defined fills. You can get them a little bigger because, as you can tell, that is pretty dang tight. And what I want to do is go into fill. This is spacing, and you can see it won't let you go up too far. What happens if you put five? And you've got it at a nice wider spacing for quilting. And of course, let's go into properties, just so you know you have one more choice. You can always use motif fill 
And in the motifs, you will find different designs you can use to just make your own quilting shape. Maybe you want this. And you've got little people in the background. So that is how you can have an inner design that you very closely align and have a quilt within a shape in creation.